So before we begin, just make sure you have all this imported. We'll start by making a class for the roles. Inside of this, put discord.ui.view. And first we need in it. I'm not sure what this does, but you need it, so just copy it. In it, timeout is equal to none. So now we'll add our first button. This will be at discord.ui.button. So first we need a label. This is just going to be the name of the button. So I'll just call it row one. And then you need an ID. The ID, no one will see the ID, but it's just a distinguish between the different roles. I'll just call it row one as well. And then the style, this is the color. So discord.button style. Uh, I'll just do secondary, which is gray. You can look online for the different colors. And now we'll create a function for our first button. So I'll we'll just call it button one. This will take self interaction, which is when the user interacts and the button. So the role, we need to get a role ID. So once you make a role, just right click, press copy ID. If you don't see it, then turn on developer mode. And the user will be whoever interacts, interaction user. So since we want the user to be able to both remove and add the roles depending on whether they have it or not, we have to check to see if they have it. So to do that, we'll do if role in y.id or y in user.roles. So this will basically create a list of the IDs of the user's roles. And if it's in there, that means the user already has it. So then we'll want to remove the role. So wait, user.remove roles. Uh, user dot kill dot get role role kill is basically the server and we're getting the role from the ID that we have and we'll just send a message you have removed a role and then we'll set ephemeral to true which means that only the user who interacts will be able to see it and then else, if the user doesn't already have the role, then we'll add it. So oh wait, user dot add roles, user dot kill dot get role, role, and we'll just send a different message. You have added role. So we've created our first button. If you want to add more, just copy paste this and change the label, the custom ID, and the function name. So you can just call it like button two. But in order for this button to work permanently, we need to add something in the on ready. So we'll say bot .add view, and then we'll just add the class. So every time it runs, it'll still work. Now we need a function to create the message that will sign roles. So add bot.command. This will basically just be one time use. Embed is equal to discord.embed. Uh, title, role selection, form, description, for us to add a, a role, and then we'll send the embed, await ctx.send embed equal to embed, and we also need to put the view, so it will add the button, so view is equal to the class view. So now I'll just run the program. We'll type dot roles to create the message. Press to add a remove a role. I'll press it. You have added a role. As you can see, I now have the role. And then if I press the button again, it will remove it. Since I already have it, you have removed a role. And I don't have the role anymore. I'll just leave the repo link in the description in case you want to copy paste it. And that's all.